This video is about counting. We now know how to recognize and read different notes, but putting them together in a sequence, i.e. actually playing a song from a sheet of music, can still be really difficult. To make it a bit easier, a lot of us use counting and clapping to figure out rhythms before we even touch a keyboard. That way when we do start playing, we know exactly how it's meant to sound. Now playing rhythms can be challenging because you're essentially counting two things at the same time, the beat of the song, and the actual rhythm you're playing over that beat. Counting the beat is pretty easy because it doesn't change. We're gonna use 4-4 four, four time, also called common time because it's so common. So we're just gonna count 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Counting the rhythm can get a little trickier because it's not as steady or reliable. To help out, we use different words to keep track of different rhythms. As we said before, in 4-4 four, four time, quarter notes last one beat. So we just count them on the beat as 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Eighth notes, however, only last half a beat. So we need to add an and between the beats to track them. So we count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. 16th notes have four notes per beat. 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a. And with triplets, we count them as 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet, 1 triplet, 2 triplet, 3 triplet, 4 triplet. This is where clapping really helps us because we have to keep track of both the beat and the rhythm at the same time. So what I like to do is clap and say the actual rhythm we're playing but track the beat by continuing to say one, two, three, four as I go. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and a four. One, two, three and four. One, two triplet, three, four triplet. By figuring out the rhythm ahead of time, it's much easier to actually sit down at the piano and play the song. If you want to get a little more fancy with clapping, you can tap the left and right hand parts on your knees. So I'll establish my left hand rhythm like this, and then I'll add my right hand rhythm like this. This can start to get a little tricky, but it's a good way to practice different rhythms and start to get in the flow.